For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney. I'm joined today by Magnus Ozier. He's a VP and GM at Samsung. And Magnus, Mobile World Congress thus far has just been dominated by discussion around 5G. And I was hoping you could give us a little insight into how Samsung is helping to lead the development of 5G technology. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. It's funny, it uh, wasn't too long ago 5G was, it, it was just a, a persona that was out there. But it seems like the last few months, it's really started kicking off. So actually, Samsung has been working on 5G for, for years. We started doing 5G with millimeter wave spectrum back in 2013. Uh, we did uh, over a gigabytes per second. That was two, two kilometers away in 2014. We expanded that to somewhat of a mobility. And then uh, in 2015, in Seoul, Korea, we did the actual mo first mobile handovers with three cell sites set up in our, in our Suwon facility and driving around and, hack and physically handing off. And in 2016, we've started off with a, quite the bang with testing actually real world trials on the Verizon campus, both mobile and fixed wireless. And it's fascinating to see all the advancements around 5G, but it's still important to remember that this work is being done pre-standardization. Can you give us a little insight into how Samsung is helping to facilitate the development of an ultimate 5G standard? Yep, I think what we're doing, right now we're doing, there's several things. Uh, the entire Samsung group is behind this. So we have our device team that is focused on how do you make a, a, a form factor that the customers will, will, will like and use and with features. Our chipsets are working to figure out how do, you how do you drive more power in a faster chip into a small scale so you can ultimately mass produce it. And then our network group, we're defining how do we take everything we know today, both from the handset side and the chip side, how do you make it into a small form factor where it's easy to, easy to deploy and you got the highest quality. What we're doing now is then taking those, taking those learnings we've shared, we've, we've uh, learned, and we're sharing those with the knowledge bodies such as 3GPP, we're working with the ITUR, we're working with Verizon's 5G uh, LTE, or not LTE, 5G forum, to make sure we everything we learn, we can share with them. Because ultimately, the, the more people understand and, and uh, support the same structure, the easier it is it's going to set standards and ultimately drive a, a, an ecosystem that's going to be healthy for everyone. Magnus, thank you so much for giving us some insight into Samsung's efforts around 5G. Thank you very much.